it's the 10th of August 2022. We're just into, I don't know, several weeks of really dry weather. Thought it might be quite nice to just come down the allotment, see where the dry areas were on the on the land you know the the grass has dried off and, and then you, you've got the the green parts where there's underwater channels of water so all around part of the allotment is hills so the water table is quite high up there so we've got a pressure so we have water coming up like artesian wells and this area here is where quite a lot of the water congregates and we've left this as a wild area because it's sort of quite marshy and has a stream sort of running down the middle, sort of rough stream. And when we first started the allotments about 15 years ago, the, the drain was blocked across here, you know, what might be called a culvert. We put a plastic pipe in there and you can see that there's water down here because it's very green here and then it goes over very green over there. And this is where we sort of connected into the old, the old land drains. And then the, the green comes down the side of this plot. And then just about 10 yards down here, it, uh, it, it meets this sort of land drain area here. And it goes across to the road through the hedge there. And there's actually water coming out of, 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 the, um, out, out of the side there, like a spring. And years ago, somebody used to collect that water um, to mix with their whiskey. They thought it was very pure water. Whether it is pure or not, we don't know. Because some of these houses may not be on sort of main sewage. So there may be a mixture of sewage coming through. Unless you had the water analysed, you wouldn't know. I haven't drunk it. Now on, on this bit of rough land here, We've got um, uh, apple mint and um, all sorts of creatures on here. That's a sort of hoverfly there or dung, bee, dung fly. But um, there are bees. Uh, yeah, I can see a honey, sort of honeybee, I think. And there, we always get a lot of those blue beetles or well, the green, be the green beetles. Um, or, but we get a lot of coloured things. Um, I, I don't know what a lot of them are, but uh, I can see bumblebees as well. Um, I'm a bit frightened of bumblebees because I had bumblebees in my shed and they, they were rather vicious. They were breeding in my shed and they stung me a lot. So I've gone right off of these little bumblebees, but I'm very glad they're down here. But I don't really want them where I am. I see a wasp over there as well. Uh, several wasp nests I know about on the allotment. Well, I could show you one because one of the wasp nests is fantastic. I'll go over there now, but I don't want to be waylaid too much because I won't really want to talk about the dry areas. Yeah, c come up here a minute. I've got something to show you. See down there? Yeah, it's a, it's a wasp nest. Well, I, actually, I, can you see a wasp on it? I can see some creature on there. Can you see a creature on it? I can, but it looks more like a fly. Yeah, I think like it's a, been... Black and white wasp. I, I think it's been vacated as a wasp nest. Um, I've never seen one that big, though. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. I wonder we missed that. Right, so... Um, this area here on the allotment, um, there's water coming down from up there because I've got an allotment up that way uh, with a pond and there's water there and then it comes across this allotment and then I think it's part of a, a land rain um, because there's a mark here which comes um, just by this post and by, by this person's uh, thorn nest. Blackberry or whatever it is there, Loganberry, and it comes down, down here, down, down, down. There's a mark, a dry mark in the grass, and it comes about to the corner of this allotment here, and then 
when it gets down to the down to the bottom there, I think it goes. I think it then it probably goes down to the stream there, to the, one of the allotments at the bottom. And um, the same with this allotment here. At the bottom part of this allotment, there's a spring that opens up when we've had a storm. So as water comes out there, so there's, there's probably another drain comes down through through there somewhere. Now this is amazing. We've got a new allotment here. Allotment here, just started this year, and it looks like he's rigged up an apparatus to sift all his soil. Uh, to sift the sown stones out and he's got a sort of tripod there. Amazing. I mean we want more people like him. He's done done really well. This allotment was um, made of starter beds and somebody uh, brought a lot of topsoil in into these starter beds and paved around the outside and now somebody's taken it over and made a fantastic job. And here's the sifting man again, his, his plot. And uh, Oh, there's some of the stones he sifted. Look at that, there's some work. And he's got a wildflower area down there. Uh, looks like cornflowers covered in bees. So that's great. And, um, sweet peas and Californian poppies. A little patio area. This is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Um, what are they called? Uh, I've got one of those at home, but yellow. But fantastic, fantastic. So uh, um, uh, unused plot, which is a sort of wild area now, um, but it's been so dry, you see. Y you know, you'd have a job to do anything with this, that this year. And even this land, look at this land. Did I say it's the 10th of August, 2022? And they say it's the driest year since 1976. Um, hope we don't get any fires down here. Now here's a, here's, a, here's a wasp nest in a hole here. Wow, don't upset them. See, they're living down there. But wasps are apparently quite good because they, um, they eat aphids. So um, they're not all bad. And now this is a wildflower area that uh, is being slightly managed. Um, I'm not sure what, what some of these are called, knapweed is it? Very nice flowers here. So it's all go, and you can see that the water is quite wet down the bottom here because there's water coming down, which is great. Coming down to um, um, dampen the lower areas. Now this is where I was saying where this is actually still quite boggy here, which is amazing.